What's up guys, my name is JP. We're here at Flex Super Gym and I'm about to walk you through a killer hypertrophy arm day. We're doing a lot of volume and it's gonna just totally just destroy your arm. So let's hop into this workout. So the first exercise we got is the hammer curls. And I'm gonna demonstrate with just some lighter weight and then I'll move into the actual workout. But you're gonna bring it up about you know, a little past 90 degrees and you're gonna keep a good squeeze on your biceps and you're gonna control it on the way down. We're gonna do about four sets of 12 reps. So let's get into the actual one. All right, moving on to the last set right here. Just focus on pausing at the top and controlling it on the way down. You don't feel that nice squeeze. You can already tell this is destroying me. And this is the first exercise. All right, so next exercise, we're gonna alternate and go to triceps. I personally like alternating bicep and tricep on arm day just because I feel like I can get a more complete workout and one body part's not resting the entire time. And so for these tricep push downs, we're gonna use the uh, rope because I feel like I can, whenever I pull it down, I can get an extra like twist at the bottom and squeeze it better than I can with just using a regular straight bar. So you just come straight down like this and squeeze at the bottom. Make sure you get that burn and just control the reps. Don't, don't, be, slinging, don't be slinging and everything, just controlled reps. And that's what's going to build that big tricep muscle and make your arms look jacked. All right, so it's our last set, but just make sure you're doing everything right and giving that good squeeze at the very end. And if you're not burned out, you just keep going until you can't go anymore. So that may be eight reps and it may be 30 reps. You just keep going, make sure you get that good squeeze at the bottom and control it on the way up. So we're doing about three or four sets of 12 just to get that good pump in. See, I'm already burning out. And this is not even 12 reps yet. That's the main I can do, but as long as you're getting that, as long as you're getting that hypertrophy in there, that's all that matters. All right, so next exercise we got is bar curls. Really emphasize being able to control the weight. So what you're gonna do is just drop your arms by your side and just curl up right at the elbows. Squeeze at the top and lower it down. You're just gonna feel that squeeze. Don't try to go too fast, just make it controlled. You're just gonna squeeze at the top, feel that pump. We're really gonna emphasize the control. Make sure you're feeling that burn. Keeping constant tension on that bicep. We're gonna squeeze on this last rep right here. Just hold it and let it slow come down. We're gonna move to close grip bench press. I like it because it automatically like influences your regular bench press because you're getting you know, a little bit of chest workout as well and it strengthens up your triceps to help you push through those tough sets on bench. So when you're doing these, I recommend using a multi-grip bar because it allows you to just change your grip and it protects your wrists instead of 
whenever you do close grip on a regular bar, your wrist kind of angle like this. This allows you to just go straight up. So you're gonna get back. Personally, I like using the angle ones because it helps me get a closer grip and allows more for triceps. But you're gonna come straight down and come about almost all the way up, but not all the way up because you wanna keep constant tension on your triceps. And so you were gonna do about three or four sets of like 12 to 15 reps just to get that pump and you're just gonna keep continuously going. Don't break at the top because that lets you rest. Just to re-emphasize the form, feet flat on the ground, push straight up, come down, come about three quarters of the way up, and just constant tension, just keep going. You're gonna feel a little squeeze on your chest as well. And it transfers directly to your bench press. So now we're gonna move over to some chin-ups. A lot of people, when they think about chin-ups and stuff, they always come here. And that's mainly for your lats and your back. And today we're working triceps and biceps. So you wanna get a, just a pretty parallel grip and just dead hang, pull straight up, little pause. You just keep constant tension. And just keep going until you can't go anymore. I usually do about three sets of max reps, but if you can't, do a full chin up or pull up that we have this assisted dip or chin up machine and all you do is just there's neutral grip right here too and this weight allows you to just get the reps in and it's the same motion it's just a little bit of assistance and so if you cannot fully do one I would rather you do 12 over here than be able to only do one chin up here So now we're gonna come back to the assisted dip or chin machine. This may seem weird, but I did a little bit of research and some alternate exercise you can do for your triceps. Just take this almost like a push up, but you're a little bit inclined. Just put, put your hands about where your face is and just come up and just push down. Controlled. And you wanna just make sure you squeeze Make sure you got that mind muscle connection to where you're actually killing your triceps. And it depends on what weight you wanna do, but you just wanna be at a comfortable weight. Probably do about 15 to 20 reps this time, just because it's assisted and it may be a little bit easier at a lighter weight. So just keep controlled and make sure you're getting that nice pump. All right, so this exercise, and this is a courtesy of uh, Zach Smith Fitness. Let's watch one of his videos and I personally like this movement, but you keep your arms above your heart at all times. And you lay back on a bench like this, and you don't wanna get super heavy weight. But you just curl. Do about three sets of, I don't know, 15 reps. But the key is, let's say this 15 reps, you keep your arms above your head or your heart at all times. So you only rest about 30 seconds in between each set. Keep your arms above your head. That way, whenever the blood restricts and it causes this muscle to just have to work even harder to uh, get that massive pump. And as soon as you lay all your hands down, the blood just rushes in your arms and it creates like the biggest pump you've ever seen. So let's get started with this. All right, so we're in between sets right now. I think I got about 20 more seconds to rest, but I'm just keeping my arms above my head just to restrict that blood flow. And then as soon as I come back down, you just keep your arms, just keep them above your head. So I'm gonna sit down and just kind of grab the bar like this and then just lay right back and do my next set.
it doesn't matter you can hang on and stuff too but we're gonna do about three sets of that and just keep your arms above your head and don't don't drop them below your shoulders just to keep that restriction and then right after this it's gonna be so insane but it hurts you just gotta push through it About 10 more seconds. I'm really starting to feel it now. We're gonna drop it down. You can already see just a crazy pump coming in. This is pretty good exercise if you're trying to get a good pump. You know, say you're going to a party that night and you gotta get ready, but you know, it's good exercise, it really isolates the biceps. You can feel it just really tight right now and that's just a good sign you're just killing your bicep and it's going to grow now this is a tricep finisher the previous exercise with the bicep finisher but we're going to do some push-ups and so i know nobody likes to do push-ups but they're probably the best body weight exercise you can do for your chest and your arms and so just to demonstrate a push-up if you can't do a full push-up get your knees here and just come down like that you don't you don't want to do this or, or do this. You just wanna make it nice and controlled and come down. And that's, a, that's, that's like a beginner push-up if you're not um, able to do a regular push-up. But all we're gonna do is come straight down. I usually touch my chest to the ground and come all the way up. And so you're just gonna do as many as you can and just keep going until you can't stop. I like to keep some tension on there. So you may not, you don't wanna lock out all the way, but come you know, most of the way up, it keeps some tension on your chest and your triceps. And that allows you just to get that burn and the pump and allows you to grow your muscles. So for this exercise, we're doing so many reps that we're only gonna do two sets because um, it really just burns you out quick. I mean, I was probably done by about 30 push-ups and it was just terrible. But we're moving on to the last set. First set really burned me out, so I wasn't able to do that many last set, but still getting that good pump in, just going until you can't go anymore. It's the best way to build muscle. All right, so for the finisher, if you still have enough gas left in your tank, which I almost have a little bit, but you're gonna do some 21s. And the way you do those is the first seven, you're gonna come halfway up and then down, and then halfway up and then down. So you do seven of those, and then you come up here and you come halfway down and up, and halfway down and up. You do seven of those. And then the very last set, you do full curls. And you do seven of those, and that's hence the name, 21s. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do those until you just can't go anymore, and then you're done.
we're just gonna do the last set this is all I can do really control that bar halfway up Three. all the way up Last one, so just kill my biceps. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to come to Flex Super Gym, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.